Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy, and in this very quick little video, we're going to take a tour of Hangouts 4.0, which is rolling out to everybody right now. Right off the bat, you'll notice a rather substantial number of visual changes. The application seems to have been brought up to code in terms of material design and even includes the hallmark floating action button. Perhaps the most immediate and noticeable change is the floating action button and the removal of the old contacts tab. Before you had to swipe over to the contacts tab in order to start a new conversation, that entire thing has been built directly into the action button so that's where you go to start a new conversation and video calls. This is actually a big improvement and it makes things a little more efficient and ergonomic. Inside of the chats you'll notice an entirely new layout that actually does pretty much what it did before but it's laid out in a much more logical way. Across the bottom you'll have a host of buttons to share things like photos, gifs, emojis, stickers, and your location along with a button to take a photo and share it immediately. This new layout takes full advantage of all the things that Hangouts can do and there's even room for expansion in case they want to add more. It should be noted that this is the easiest access a user has ever had to stickers and we did actually like that it asks you for permission for your location if you have it set that way in your Google account. The settings menu is more or less the same as it always has been. There aren't any noticeable changes here aside from some tweaks to the layout to make things easier to find. It should be noted that the custom status messages are now back and this time hopefully they're back to stay. There were a handful of other changes as well. Those who use Google Voice can now reply to group MMS messages and hangouts and those who use the Hangouts dialer can now make calls with outbound caller ID so those on the other end know exactly who's supposed to be calling them. And of course, those who use Android Wear should be able to send Hangouts messages on the fly by saying, okay, Google, send a Hangouts message, and that should be built right in now. And that about wraps it up for the features. Under the hood, the developers have stated that they've been on a war path to fix bugs and better optimize the application. And that means depending on your device and version of Android, the application should respond better and faster than it did previously, although your mileage may vary. It should also use less battery, Hangouts messages should deliver and send faster, and messages should fail to send far less frequently, but of course, time will tell with that. Like I said, folks, it's nice and quick. Most of the changes are visual, but there are a few little fun features added in and performance improvements baked in as well. It should be rolling out right now to device near you, but if you want to try it out early, we'll have the download link for the APK in the written companion, which is linked in the video description below. And that's it for this one, folks. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.